It's super excited to connect with you all. We are coming to you from Santa Barbara, California. And for this next interview, we're going to New York City. Why did you know that Black Ink Crew New York is celebrating its 10th season? That's a huge accomplishment. We salute all the crew members, but we got two of them with us, two of my favorite. We got Young Bay Puma joining us right now. And what personally has you two excited for us to see season 10? Okay. What? Wait up! <laughs> <laughs> what are you excited about, okay? Oh, God, Puma, go ahead. Um, I mean, I'm excited just because we're the people to see us get to season 10. You don't really see a lot of shows get this far. So, reality show season 10, that's unheard of. Come on. It, yeah, it really is. So, you get to see where we're at now, you know, and some of us have definitely gone to different places and in a different mindset. So it's really cool. Well, certainly cool yeah. indeed. And I just have to ask about each of you, but I'm gonna ask each of you about the other. So Young Bay, let's start off with you. What impresses you most with Puma? Um, Puma, um, when I, um, cause when I uh, came on Black Ink, Puma wasn't around. So I didn't get to really meet Puma, get to know Puma, well, nothing like that. But, you know, a couple of years later, like I, I got to meet Puma and he was very calm and, you know, like healing soul having person, <laughs> you know, in his deep voice. <laughs> you know, he's always been a, a go to person at Black Ink when people go through stuff and, you know, just his voice alone, it, it calms you the I'm cursing. He calms you down. Sorry. <laughs> I don't curse. I must be nervous or something because I don't curse. Like Puma? Right. You don't curse at all, babe. <laughs> oh, right? like, they curse? Oh, God. <laughs> Puma, you rock. I yeah. do love your calmness and that deep voice. I need to I need to work on mine. But more importantly, now that she said nice things about you, Puma, what impresses you most with Bay? Well, honestly... I see a single woman running, being a mother and a business owner. So that's very impressive to me. You know what I'm saying? Like I see her, her main focus is her child and her business. And she just be on that. And, you know, a lot of people, they get caught up into this whole fame life thing, but I don't see that with her. She just be very focused on her craft and her children and her child, excuse me. And <laughs> Thank I think you. that's dope, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I find that very impressive, me personally, because fame and money and all this stuff, a lot of people get too caught up, and I don't see her getting caught up, so that's really cool. It's very impressive. Well, that certainly is impressive. You both are impressive. Congratulations on season 10. I know that you guys get to watch yourselves on the show, but as you've been watching yourself, what's something you've learned the hard way that's really served you well in reflection on your tremendous success? Learned the hard way? Puma. Mm, something bad that happened. Is there something bad that you feel like- Business-wise? Yeah. Like you I, like, mean, I learned my lesson from that. I mean, I gotta get this question right. Can you break it down for me, Puma? Or all right. So figure like this. There's something that there's some trauma that you had to happen, like something bad happened to you, maybe while you're filming that you would never let happen to you again. That you've learned. What lesson have you learned? Oh my god, the lesson have I, I've learned so much things because you know what I've been this young bay my whole life, right? But you don't really know because you don't get to see yourself on TV, you know? Yeah, I get but it. But when you do every single dumb stuff, it's on TV and you get to see yourself doing dumb stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so that's yeah. like, oh my God, I can't do that. I need to fix myself. I need to calm down. That's, that was stupid. That was dumb. Oh my God. But also I'm, I'm a human being. So I make the same mistake again. I'm like, ah, oh my God, I got to fix it again. Like, you know, it's hard seeing myself doing dumb stuff in public for millions of people to see. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and people judge you and people tell you. I'm like, I know. I know they were stupid. I saw me, <laughs> you know. It's just, it's, 
Yeah. Bay, it, you are so sweet yes. and so kind, and and you're you're going to be a great talk show host one day, Puma. But let's ask you, what have you learned on your journey of this show that has served you really well? Um, my lesson is to communicate better. I used to be very emotional in the beginning of Black Geek. You know what I mean? Lash out with my emotions, and I had to learn to like communicate better. I think that if certain situations that I've had during these seasons, if I communicated a little bit better, I think that things would have been the way they were. So communication is- e. Oh, excuse me, my language. Communication. Look at you. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, let me just say the two of you rock. <laughs> I've had so much fun talking to both of you and uh, as nice as you are, I know there's a lot of drama on the show. So season 10, lock and load, we're going to be tuning in. But let me just say to both of you, you guys rock. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. You had great questions. Thank you. Those are good questions. <laughs>